How to celebrate Diwali. Diwali, also known as the Festival of Lights, is Hinduism's most important holiday. It celebrates the victory of goodness over evil and light over darkness, and for many, ushers in the new year. You will need cleaning products, new clothes, small earthenware oil lamps called dias or electric lights, mustard or sesame oil if you're using lamps, cotton wool wicks if you're using lamps, rangoli patterns, chalk, rangoli powder, a home shrine, tokens of prosperity, gifts, and dried fruits and sweets. Optional, a Hindu lunar calendar, pre-made rangoli patterns, and fireworks. Step 1. Prepare for the holiday by cleaning your home from top to bottom beforehand. The Hindu lunar calendar is used to calculate the festival's dates, which typically fall in October or November. Step 2. Wear new clothes to keep with the renewal theme of the holiday. Step 3. Place dias, which are earthenware oil lamps or electric lights around your home and place of business. Different parts of India honor different deities during Diwali. One of the most commonly venerated is Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, and the lamps are supposed to guide her to these places. The lamps also signify the light of knowledge. Dias are traditionally lit with mustard oil, using cotton wool for the wick. Step 4. Set off fireworks, following safety rules and government regulations to display the joy of the festival. Step 5. Open your doors and windows so Lakshmi can enter. You don't want the goddess of wealth to pass you by because she didn't have a key. Step 6. Draw or trace rangoli patterns on your floors with chalk and fill them in with powder. You can also buy pre-made rangoli and set them on your floor. The most common pattern is the lotus flower because Lakshmi is often portrayed holding or sitting on a lotus. Animal or zodiac signage are also common. Step 7. To continue the tribute to Lakshmi, decorate a home shrine to her. Money and photos of houses, cars, and other signs of prosperity customarily are displayed. Step 8. On the third day, finalize all account books since day 4 marks the beginning of the new financial year in most areas. Step 9. Buy and exchange gifts especially dried fruits and sweets, with friends and family. Between the fireworks and the candy, it's clear why in India, Diwali is children's favorite holiday. Did you know, from the Sanskrit word Dipwali or Deepavali, Diwali means row of lights, and Sikhs and Jains also celebrate it. How to Generate Good Karma Karma is an idea that exists in the Hindu, Buddhist, Jain, and Sikh religions, which simply holds that all actions have consequences. In other words, karma's not a bitch, but you might be. If so, here's how to start sending the world good vibrations. You will need generosity, benevolence, environmental awareness, a volunteer job, and chocolate. Step 1. Pick a charity and have a set amount deducted monthly from your checking account. That way you won't forget. Step 2. Instead of flipping the finger at everyone who annoys you, try letting people slip in front of you with a smile and a wave. Step 3. Take a few minutes to chat with the lonely widow next door. And don't embarrass her by interrupting to say, Yeah, you told me that yesterday. Step 4. The next time you're splitting a check with friends, figure out a 20% tip then tack on two or three more dollars per person. An extra couple of bucks won't kill anyone, and added together, it will make your server's day. Step five, get a volunteer job, even if it's just for one or two hours a week. This is one case where the karma benefits to you are scientifically proven. Studies show that volunteers have lower rates of depression and heart disease. Need another reason to volunteer? Those who help others experience a rush similar to the one people feel after a workout. Step 6. Be kind to the environment by doing at least three green things a day. Turn off a light you don't need, decline a receipt at the ATM or gas pump, ask the wait person not to bring you a glass of water if you're barely going to touch it. Step 7. Eat more chocolate. It contains substances that produce the same euphoric sensations caused by falling in love and smoking marijuana. And if you feel good, you're more likely to be kind to others. Did you know? Scientists have found that some people have an altruism gene.